Hey guys, it's Shani, and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I decided to use the January Mystery Kit that's from my shop. I'm also using the Jesenia Printables uh, inserts like I have been for the last few weeks. Um, and this is still from like a January week, so I do still have them and they are still dated. And I'm just running you guys through the kit there. So what I've decided to do with my monthly um, mystery kits, which if you guys haven't heard... Uh, basically, the first month that I release them, it is a mystery, and they are 15% off if you buy them at the time. Sometimes they'll come with, like, extra sheets or whatever just to, you know, spice it up. So, for example, in February, like, the mystery kit comes with, like, a free deco sheet, um, and it is 15% off for the entire month of February. And then when I release the March mystery... The February mystery kit gets revealed and it's no longer um, a mystery, of course, and it's no longer on sale anymore either. So I hope that makes sense. I thought that'd be the most fair way to do it. Just kind of like an incentive for people um, who do want to get it as a mystery. It, it, it will be on sale and it's just kind of like a, a thing where, I don't know, you trust me to make a nice kit and if you're getting it as a mystery. So I thought I'd give you guys a code for it. Um, or sorry, a sale for it. So they are 15% off for the entire month of like whenever the kit is a mystery. I, I think I'm just repeating myself. I hope you guys understand. If you don't, totally comment down below and I will explain it better. Um, so the January mystery kit uh, has now been revealed since it is February. So you can still get it in the shop, but it is no longer on sale. But the February one is. Hope all that made sense. Again, if you guys don't get it, totally let me know and I will explain it. So Anyways, I started this week off by putting down the full boxes. I love how Justenia lays out her uh, inserts. I think I've like raved about them so many times and I think they're perfect. All her inserts that I've tried, I've really, really enjoyed. And um, I'm actually going to be trying some new inserts. I already tried them on my own off camera and I'll be using them in Plan With Me's. I can't really, I'm not sure when, but maybe within the next few weeks. They are her like still week on two page, but there isn't the fold out. It's more, it's the one where you can use like the date covers and the bottom washi, um, but the Saturday and Sunday are stacked. So um, I'm really excited. I've really been enjoying those. I've used them a few times off camera now and I've really loved it. So I'm excited to show you guys in a plan with me what I end up doing with it. So this kit actually did have a double box, but for some reason, I just wasn't feeling it that day. So uh, I separated it. I put one of them on Monday and the other one on Sunday, and I still think it looks perfectly fine. I would never know that it was supposed to be together if I didn't put them that way. So I still think it looks really cute. And then after that, I just moved on to Monday, and I used the Coffee Monday um, sticker that's in the kit, which is like the font along with the icon that they're like attached together. And then I moved right to the bottom of Monday and I put a heart at the bottom as well as a quarter box with a circle meal icon, which I have not placed down yet, but I will. And then on top of that, I used a laptop sticker to write down that I had a quiz due, actually two quizzes due for one of my classes. It was like stats quizzes. Um, they give us weekly quizzes and I guess both of them were due this day. So I just kind of wanted to remember um, to get them done, of course. And then I used a piece of washi as well as the payday sticker that came with the kit as well. Um, it just has the payday with like the little money sack. It's a little hard to tell on camera. I totally forgot to zoom in. Usually I like to do like the base stuff zoomed out so you can see everything and then I zoom in. But I guess I forgot to zoom in and as you guys know I don't have a flip out screen and when I was filming this I couldn't really see. So um, I think it will zoom in pretty soon but for now it's really far out. Um, and then I just put another full box on Monday and I think it's about to zoom in. There we go. <laughs> and then I used the travel Ava to write down that some of my friends and I booked a trip to Portugal. I've spoken about this a couple of times already like on my Instagram. So um, if you guys follow me on there, you probably have heard. But we were so excited. We like were going to go to Cuba at first and then decided against it. And then we were going to go. Hmm, where else were we going to go? I can't really remember. Oh, we wanted to go to Costa Rica. And then again, decided against it. And then randomly that morning, um, one of us was like, oh, what about Portugal? And we'd like spoken about it before and we were just kind of like kind of forgot about it. And I think I actually brought it up. I was like, guys, what about Portugal? And like 30 minutes later, we found tickets, booked it. It was done. It was amazing. It was so fun. Um, so I'm really excited. It isn't a really long time. It's in June, but I think it's going to be awesome. Um, at the bottom of Tuesday, I used a label with a, um, what is that? 
what is that, a bow, uh, to write down that uh, I went to my boyfriend's place and then I used some flags that came with a kit as well as the lab fonts that are from my shop to write down the three labs that I had this week, which um, I actually missed one of them yesterday. I had one of them again yesterday and accidentally missed the whole thing and got a zero and they didn't let me do it um, the next time, but it is what it is. You guys will hear about that in the plan with me that uh, that actually happens in, so I think it'll be like in two weeks or something. Um, I'm really skipping around all these days here, which is like making it hard to follow. It's just a lot easier to um, film that way sometimes. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, um, on Tuesday, I had a lab due. So I used just an asterisk for that. And then um, on Wednesday, I used a half box with the girl eating um, just straight down that. Some of my friends and I went uh, to dinner at like this Afghan place uh, that's near our university. And it's really good. I really love going there. It's called Bamiyan Kebab. Um, and then on top of that, I used a quarter box with this Fox and Pip free printable from her, um, Facebook group that I just made into stickers for myself to write down that I went to Tim Hortons with my boyfriend. Am I talking really fast? I might be. <laughs> uh, on, uh, Thursday evening, I'm still not used to these inserts with, like, the Thursday being the last one on the left side. Um, but yeah, I used the half box with, like, a sleeping, sleeping mask that's from my shop as well as a bubble tea sticker that is also from my shop, but it is no longer available. I just still have a bunch of them left, and yeah. And then back to Tuesday, I used this quarter box with like this UGH sticker, which I can't remember where it's from. It was like from a sampler, I don't really know. And um, it's it was just right down that I waited for like the Subway restaurant. I waited 45 minutes for my sandwich, ended up missing my class for it, but I was so hungry after my lab that I couldn't even like I don't know, I usually do this in chronological order, but it didn't really fit very nicely, so I did put the subway on top of the lab, which I don't really like to do, but it is what it is. Um, they opened up like a new subway near where I hang out like on campus, and so I really wanted to go because I love subway and the other one's pretty far, and yeah, waited 45 minutes, which I was not happy about. <laughs> the line wasn't even that long, they were just going really slow, which is fine, I'm sure they're all new, so like, you know they'll pick up the pace, but it, I was just really frustrated. So I wanted to mark that in. And I also used another asterisk on top of that to write down that I had to um, make some transfers. Um, and then back to Friday, oh no, on Friday, I used a camera sticker that came with a kit as well as a film font that's from my shop. And then underneath that, I used a label that's from the kit as well as a nail polish sticker to write down that I was painting my nails. Um, I'm sorry if this part, like, usually I cut these parts out of the plane with me, like the really dry parts where nothing's happening, but sometimes my um, movie maker, like, messes up, and I don't even know how to explain it, it just does some really funky stuff, and I can't edit, like, some clips, so, yeah, some of it, if you guys see that, I'm really sorry, but I tried to cut as much of it as I could, and then whatever I could, I left in. I also did the bottom washi um, at some point, and that's actually just from Scotch Brand. I think I got it at like Shoppers Drug Mart a really long time ago. They randomly had it near Halloween, and it's honestly one of my favorite washi tapes. It's actually almost done, so I would love to get another one. Um, I'm definitely going to look into that. On the sidebar, I did the usual. I did the to-do header as well as the this week header, and I did the ombre heart checklist as well as the weekly box. I also used a goals header near the bottom with a label that's from the kit as well as the Ava like holding her planner and hugging it um, to write down like some social media stuff that I do. Um, I also used a checklist at the top of Wednesday that came with the kit. I don't think I mentioned that when we were uh, looking at Wednesday and I did put down like a reading Ava at the top of Thursday to write down that I was just studying with my boyfriend and our friend Sally. Um, I can't remember if I put this down or not, but on Thursday, right in, underneath that, I used a label. You can't really see it right now, so I can't say that this is helpful. Oh, no, I haven't put any, any of that down yet. I'm looking at my planner right now and trying to talk while I'm doing things, but, I mean, that's clearly not happening. There's that bubble tea sticker that I was talking about that never went down, but it is now. Um, yeah, I went to go get some uh, bubble tea with my boyfriend, which I love bubble tea, so... Shout out to that. <laughs> uh, there's that label that I was talking about with getting lunch with my friend Sally. I used um, a meal icon that came with the kit as well. And here's some more of that like dry stuff or dry part that couldn't get cut out. I hate leaving this in because I normally like don't 
enjoy watching that when people leave it in. I really like when people uh, cut it out just so like the good stuff is left in and that's all I'm really watching. But I'm sorry I couldn't really do that this week. Um, I tried again, like I said, to cut out as much as I could, but whatever was left, I left in there. Um, so then I'm just filling that out and there's that reading Ava girl that uh, I was telling you guys about. I don't know why I keep pulling things out of the frame. Oh, I think I was just adjusting it because the spacing didn't look too good and I think I'll end up moving it um, once again because it looks a little bit different in my planner. So, <laughs> or maybe I do that off camera, who knows. So haven't put that film font that I was telling you guys about either, but it will come down this plan with me is a mess. Oh God, I'm just, I'm rambling and I'm saying everything wrong <laughs> in the wrong order. I'm so sorry guys. Next one will be better, I promise. Um, on Saturday, I used a teardrop as well as the Etsy icon that is from the kit. Both of them are from the kit. The Easter um, kit was actually the new release for that week, so I wrote that down. And then on Sunday, I really love doing that where I cut like the bottom half of the planner and um, I just use like it as it's as if it's coming out of like the glitter header of, or like the box I hope that makes sense but you guys have probably seen me do it in the past and I really like how that looks so um I wrote down that my plan with me was going live on Sunday I also end up putting this checklist but it will come up eventually so I don't know why it's still there um there I go filling in the bubble tea that I was telling you guys about let me know if you guys like bubble tea as well I know in the states they call it boba but here we call it bubble tea so um, if you guys like boba or bubble tea, let me know and then let me know which one you guys like. I like the original, which is just like the black tea um, with tapioca. I freaking love tapioca. Um, so yeah, on Sunday, I used a half box as well as another half box on Friday. The one on Friday was straight down that I was sleeping at my boyfriend's and we were just having some drinks. So I did use the clinking glasses. You'll see me put that down in just a bit. And then I also used... Um, a teardrop on top of that with the car icon to write down that my brother was coming home and I had to go pick him up from the subway station. I also had two appointments that day. I was getting my brows done as well as laser so um, I wanted to write those down. They were pretty like far apart but I didn't really do anything else that day and I didn't have um, another appointment label so or sorry not appointment label but like appointment icon so I just kind of marked them like that and I thought it looked pretty cute I just wrote the two little boxes in as well um, on Saturday I was having a lazy day so I used a piece of washi as well as the lazy day font that comes with the kit and then at the bottom of Saturday I went to bubble tea again I'm telling you guys I'm loving bubble tea um, and then I used an asterisk to write down that I was recording the voiceover for the plan with me that was going up the next day on Sunday, I slept at my boyfriend's again, so I wrote that on top of that half box with um, the car icon, and then I filled in the other stuff that I put down. On Saturday, after the new release part, I used a piece of washi as well as a study font, which will come in, and there we go. And that is for my shop. It's not with the kit, but you can get it in my shop separately. And then I already used the Ava girl that came in with the kit, so I pulled in another one. And I was just writing that I was cooking with my mom. And then I put down another reading Ava, which I am realizing it's kind of in line with the one on Thursday, which is not my favorite, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.